Hello and welcome to Stationers. I'm working on, I've got this set up. I got my solar panels up here. Power goes that way. You got to keep your power separate with this battery. Output power there, input power there, or it'll, it'll just pop wires all the time. So I was going to show you, basically this is probably the only way you can do it really. You need a logic reader and a batch writer. And you can get those out of the machine here and there's they're listed under different things so logic they may be under the same component logic processor on a gold and copper no gold Oof. no I don't think I do hmm. but I've already printed them but so we got over here I'll oh, get some steel sitting there Let's see if I have gold in here nothing in there Ugh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I may have gold after all. Yes, I do. I just waiting on copper. I need to work on a sorter for these and all that good stuff, but I'm just now starting out. So I'm going to show you what I did on the... This is probably the only way you can do these. I don't want to sit here and talk too much. I'm trying to make a short video. That way it's easy, quick, and done. So, let's see if it's a logic reader. Hmm. I don't need cables, so let's search. So we're looking for a logic... Nope. Logic processor. Let's try that one. Not I'll pry one of those up. It's real simple to set up. It's it's. Right. You have to set the solar panels on the vertical connection. So let's stop that. I want to let's see if this is the right one. So that's the logic uh, mini max. Select, compare, math. We're looking for the logic. We have the wrong one. I may have made the wrong one. Mm. It looks the same. Logic reader. Mm. Okay. It's crowbarred up. Ugh. So much for a short video, right? I think you need a drill. Let me see. Oh, it's a compare unit. Well, I need that. I'm going to go ahead and place it down anyway. Let's go back in here. Oh. Logic I.O. Hmm. Well, at least I'll have them for later, right? So let's kill that. Let's do this. There's the logic reader. So there's only three sides of power. And there's one side not. So you butt them against each other. And that's what I've done right here. So I think the other one's in here too. That's the... Nope. So I'm looking for a batch writer. There is... So it's under one. That's a batch reader. And there's so it's the same chip okay it's that one i just made so <clears throat> once you put them down this is going to be your configuration you want to pile the all the networks and all the power in uh also a battery you can make in here and this is really key because um you you don't rely on the battery kit right here go ahead and make me another one oh, i need gold so but then you have to put this down then you use the drill and then you use the screwdriver but you all know how to do that so what you need is a sensor, and it goes right there. It tracks the sun. It's a daylight sensor, and it's just a sensor, and you just roll through it like you do on your mouse. Let's see if it here I show you. And so it's only a sensor kit. It's only one. I can make one of those. 
And so you just place that and you direct it at the sun. Mm. Okay, let's get rid of that and then get that. And so if I'm going to put that, so there's what it looks like. It's a sensor, daylight sensor is what it is. Now I can go, it, it does everything. Occupancy sensor, gas sensor, so that you're going to need the daylight sensor. But we're not going to use that. So I need to make sure I don't have that down. So I'm going to pick that up. Good thing is I can put it in here. And I have other chips in here that I've made. Okay, once you get those together, then you're going to get a screwdriver out. You get your flathead. And you're going to click on these. You have the power off. So this needs to be daylight sensor. You just click through it to get to it. And it needs to be on the vertical. Vertical axis. And you come over here. You can turn that on. Then you come over here. It says output type is solar panels dual. That's your ones that flip. See how they're, they're lined up with the sun right now. Then you're going to go over here to batch rider. And this is a cycle for horizontal. But you want this on vertical because that's what you're doing for the reader. You're reading, you're batching it to horizontal. Then you're going to do, you're going to refer to the logic reader for what you need. And so you're needing the vertical. Turn them both on. Now, when you set this battery up, it has to be on its own power. So you can't have the system running a, running a, a machine over here. Uh, it'll and then tie it back in over there. It'll burn a few. I, I was melting fuses all day long. So until I separated the system out. So the solar panels are on one grid and the rest of, and then see the network can be on the same grid though. Right there. But the power you want to put in separate. Okay. Then you just watch it. And they start to track. 100 percent 95 percent 470 watts. So obviously I need probably about 10 of these to be making about 4.7 kilowatts an hour of production, but I'm able to turn everything on. I was having to, a controller and I changed out all the switches. But it's a simple logic reader and it's in the same, the logic chip. You make it in the reader right here. Let's see. Search. We're going to take logic and it's going to be basically a logic chip. And then once you produce that, we make two of them. And then you'll place them down. You'll want to put the side that doesn't have any electricity up against each other. That, it just makes it easier thus far. Then you want to wrap the wires around and connect all these positions. Then you tie it into a sensor, which is down there. It's facing the sunrise. And then push these. You can turn them off and on right here. So if, there, if you have a one that's messed up, I took out one of those solar panels. It would, it would give me a yellow light saying, hey, we can't find the solar panels. Or if I cut a wire over there. It would be like, hey, I can't find the solar panels. So there's how you set up a basic solar tracker. And I need about 10 more of these all together. And you want to make sure they're facing a certain way because it makes it easier for you to keep them going. At least that's how I do it. So, all right, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.